Hello, second grade. Um, right now is your media center time, and I am so happy to be here with you while you are homeschooling. Okay, now for today's lesson, your first assignment is to go onto lesson plan, and I have a book for you to read. It's going to be a version of Cinderella. And today, I'm going to read you another version of Cinderella called Seriously, Cinderella is so annoying. Okay, and these two versions are very different. Um, one is more of the normal version that you've heard. Okay, and this one is from a different point of view. Instead of the narrator's point of view, um, kind of from Cinderella, um, this point of view is from the wicked stepmother. But she doesn't think she's so wicked. So let's see how she feels. Now I know in class you are comparing and contrasting um, two different novels, there's versions of the same novel. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Now after you do this, you will have an assignment to do, and um, I'm very excited. So let's go ahead and get started. You must have heard of me, the wicked stepmother. Not true. It's just another one of Cinderella's wild stories. Not as wild as one as the one about the pumpkin and the fairy godmother. The real story, the true story, began with some chatter and some dust. All I ever wanted was a husband and a mansion. Before I married Cindy's father, my two darlings and I had met Cindy only a few times. The girl had seemed normal then. After I married Cindy's father, my darlings and I moved in. When I had just one foot on the front step, my dear husband kissed me goodbye and said, I'm off on business. He leaves often, Cindy said. But the animals stay put. They talk, they joke, they sing, they even help out, especially the bluebirds. Now, I don't mind a story, but I like facts, not fiction. Soon the girl was talking all kinds of hocus pocus. Once upon a time, Cindy said, one of the bluebirds became blue, not the color, the feeling. His friend had flown south. My darlings and I were stuck near the front door. I just wanted to put away my bags, and that's when I saw it, dust. Dear, is the whole house this dusty, I asked. I don't know. Cindy said, I'll give you a tour. Oh, they look quite disgusted. Ooh, a bad house. Hopefully your house doesn't look like that. <laughs> In the dining room, Cindy told stories. In the study, Cindy told stories, nonstop. Girls, I said, time to get to work. This place needs a good cleaning. Once upon a time, when I was cleaning, Cindy started, oh boy. At least she's happy. Cindy mopped the floor, but she finished so fast. My darlings had barely started. Did you know robins and sparrows are my friends, she said. But the sparrows don't like the robins, silly creatures. Once upon a time, one of the robins, Cindy dear, I said, why don't you go and wash the clothes now, hmm? But Cindy washed them so fast. How on earth did she do it? I had to find another chore for her just to keep her busy. If there's one thing squirrels love, it's washing clothes, Cindy said. The rats thought, though, would rather iron. You know, one day I... Squirrels and rats doing laundry? Quit telling such foolish stories, I said. Time passed, but nothing changed. In the garden, Cindy told stories. In the kitchen, Cindy told stories. At dinner, I couldn't hear myself think. Dear, please, I said, stop talking. But Cindy didn't stop.
One day, a letter arrived. It was an invitation to the king's ball. The prince would surely fall in love with one of my darlings. Then they would marry, live in a beautiful castle, and one day be king and queen of all the land. Oh, stepmother, I have to go too, says Cindy. Once upon a time, a girl and a prince, and then, just like that, Cindy lost her voice. Imagine! It had to be from all that storytelling. Well, what could I do? I told Cindy she had to stay home, for her health. She cried, of course, but a ball was no place for a sick girl. She needed rest. Sometimes it's so hard being a stepmother. Mm, don't know if that was necessary. At the ball, my darlings twirled, they whirled, but then some strange girl waltzed in. Her gown was magnificent. I couldn't take my eyes off it. I wondered how much it cost and if my seamstress could copy it for me. The prince and the girl danced and pranced. My poor darlings were left princeless. A few days later, the prince made an announcement. A glass slipper had been left at the castle. The prince would marry the girl whose foot it fit. Our big chance. After visiting every other mansion in the neighborhood, the prince's valet arrived at our door. Me, me, said one of my darlings. No, me, me, said the other. One at a time, said the valet. Each girl tried on the shoe, but didn't fit. Then Cindy pushed out a whisper. Please let me try. The shoe fit. Cindy pulled the match out of her pocket. What? My darlings cried. Cindy pushed out another whisper. She said something about a pumpkin coach and mice that turned into horses. She even added a fairy godmother. Please, there's no such thing. But I still don't know where she got those shoes. A few days later, the prince married Cindy. Poor man, he had no idea what he was getting himself into. But we lived happily ever after. The end. Okay, I think that is quite a funny story, a funny version of Cinderella, definitely from a different point of view. But you could still see some things that were very much the same in this story and the original Cinderella that you guys have probably read, probably seen the movie. <laughs> okay, guys, so now your assignment is to complete a Venn diagram comparing and contrasting the two books. After you do this, you're going to get on Flipgrid. Now, Flipgrid is optional because your parents would need to download an app, so ask permission first, and then get an account. And once you get an account, you get a number. The number is going to be in this lesson. Okay, and once you get that number, you're going to go on Flipgrid and you can record a short um, little bit and you're going to tell me which book you liked best and show me your Venn diagram that you completed. All right, second grade, I am excited to be with you today and I hope the rest of your day is just awesome. Bye. <laughs>